What's up everybody? It's Realistic with Realistic Productions doing another tutorial for SoundOracle.net. And in this video we're going to be continuing on with the fundamental series. Last week we did acoustic guitar and I said that after that we were going to do electric guitar because there are some different frequencies with the two. You're dealing with a lot of distortion when you're doing with electric guitar so there's definitely some new harmonics that are introduced. So we're just going to go over what to boost and what to cut when it comes to electric guitar. All right, so I got Pro Tools open up here, but as I always say, these tips and tricks will work in any DAW, and if you're capable of it, go ahead and open up your DAW of choice. You'll find that you learn a lot more if you do these along with me versus trying to retain the information and remember it for later. So what we're focusing on right now is electric guitar. If you saw last week, we did acoustic guitar, but there are some different things to consider when boosting and cutting for electric guitar because of the harmonics that are added and the distortion and the overdrive that's happening. So let's throw some EQs on here, and then we'll just kind of dive in real quick and kind of see what it is so I got a couple little guitar ones to choose from we'll start out with more of uh this classic guitar rock guitar because it's just it's perfect for the tutorial it, it has everything that I want to show in that uh, I'll show you that <laughs> So it just has everything that I'm looking for for guitars. We got some other ones to go through too, possibly. And then kind of more of an arpeggiated one. All right, so yeah, let's let's focus on this more classic kind of sound in one. And what we'll do is we'll start with things that we can cut versus boosting right off the bat. The boosting is usually what we focus on for the fundamentals, but the cutting, you'll find with a lot of instruments that you get a lot more out of it if you do cutting versus boosting. You'll actually notice that things start to pop and sparkle more when you cut versus boosting. So yeah, let, let's start with this. So uh, the big thing, too, is the deep bass way down here. Definitely worth cutting, usually all the way up to 80. <laughs> You hear it changed just a little bit. Let me show you what that sounds like down here. So that's definitely some area that we don't really need. Um, for this one, I'm, you know, this is a little bit thicker and has a little bit more meat to it. So I probably won't be as aggressive. We'll probably just go up to like, you know, maybe 65, 70. <laughs> All right, and then believe it or not, another area worth cutting for when it comes to guitar is, is the same thing way up top here is this area it, between 10 and 20K. There's no fundamentals up here. It's often that's just worth cutting. And uh, I'll show you too, as, as I cut this out, you'll see it's not really changing it. <laughs> See, we don't see too much of a change. Uh, let me go all the way up and show you what that sounds like just way up there. So all that up there, usually just not worth having. So it's it's good to, you don't have to do the, the high cut. Maybe you could do more of a high shelf. But for this one, I'll just do the high cut here and then some other areas too this is this is a really big one actually and a lot of people that do rock and metal music think of this as the worst possible frequency ever and it's uh it's 4k and, and the reason why it's it's such a problem area for electric guitars is because this is the sound of the pick you know, when the pick is on the strings, this is usually what that is. And, and a lot of times you'll get a lot of really harshness, a, some plastic sounding. So a lot of times people will get rid of that area. Obviously, everything sounds worse when we zero it out. But if I scope through, you'll see that that's kind of more of the problem area. So 
So yeah, that can definitely be a little bit of a issue there. Often worth cutting there. <laughs> Now, if you cut that a little bit, but you still want to have a little bit of that that snap and area of the pick and percussive feel, then it's generally around 2 and 3K is where you kind of want to check that out. You do got to be careful in that area, though, because one of the things here is this is also where the harshness of the guitar is. If you notice when I was at that 2 to 2.5 area, that's where a lot of the harshness came from. <laughs> I sometimes find too around the one to 1.5 range too. There's usually some areas that are worth boosting actually in there just to kind of cut through a little bit more. You hear right there that's kind of sweet and milky on the ears. No surprise here, another area worth cutting is going to be between that two and 200 range. You'll, you'll see that it gets really kind of bumpy and muddy down here. And that's, that's kind of where the body of it is. But once it's being distorted, it, it gets a little rough. <laughs> you hear that build up right there. So that can be worth cutting a little bit there too. And then same with down here a little bit, this can be worth cutting. See that build up right there? So usually between 120, 150 kind of worth cutting. Now, if you are looking for the fullness and the sound of the body though, that's is gonna be between 100 and 300. So just kind of keep that in mind. And you may want to cut some areas down here, but there are maybe some places that you want to boost if you want a little bit more of a body. <laughs> And then let me just zero it out and scope through so you can hear the body by itself. So yeah, those are the fundamentals of an electric guitar. I'll just kind of go through the other two real quick just so you can see an example of how different guitars have different areas that you want to consider. <laughs> See, so yeah, I didn't really change the tone and sound of it at all right there. And then I'll show you one that's more kind of arpeggiated and plucked out because you get those sometimes. Again, really not changing the, the tone and sound of it. Let me go actually get a little bit more aggressive up there.
See, this is a good example of how they're different because this is actually kind of where a little bit more of that harshness lied on this particular one. But I did kind of give you a good general area of where the harshness usually lives of that to the 2.5 area. And then to uh, let's kind of focus on this area too. So yeah, those are the fundamentals of an electric guitar. Hopefully that you got a little bit out of that. Hopefully this helps a little bit. So I'm hoping that you got a lot out of this tutorial today. Hopefully there's some information that was useful. If you're getting a lot out of this, but you want to see more, please feel free to comment below. Let us know what kind of tutorials that you want to see in the future. And Oracle and I can definitely make that happen. We're always trying to find the content that you want to see. If you're liking what you're hearing from me, you can find me everywhere on social media at Realistic Productions. You can find me at the web, realisticproductions.net. You can find my man Sound Oracle everywhere at Sound Oracle. And if you're looking for the best 808s, the best kicks, the best snares with the craziest loops and samples you can find on the internet right now, go to soundoracle.net. All right, till next time. Sound Oracle.